Hey, Healthy Place. This is Imade. I am the founder of Depress While Black, as you see here, um, an online platform that shares mental health stories through an African-American lens. And I wanted to share with you three unconventional signs of depression that I experienced when I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder uh, back in December 2012. Um, I thought that depression back at that time was like that Zoloft commercial where like this, this blob like just sadly goes across the screen. I didn't know that depression could also look like overworking yourself and being in denial and having rage and having such a low self-regard for yourself because those are all the things that I experienced. Um, I was a USC grad student at that time. I was a, I was a one woman film team. Um, I was working on a short documentary. Um, I was you know, working in, in reporting in LA's oldest uh, housing project. I was doing a lot of things to work my way out of unemployment employment and poverty and sadness. And what I've learned in that situation is that a lot of times um, the cultural norms that you grow up in uh, influences the way in which you express mental illness. Um, because my mom and my grandma, you know, all they did was work. My grandma uh, worked until she was 75. Uh, my mom worked double shifts to uh, get me through college. And so I thought that's how I need to counter depression is by working harder. And then when it comes to the denial and the rage, it's scary being depressed um, because you always feel like there's a target on your back and that somebody is going to call you out, gonna drag you out the closet and is going to make fun of you and is going to take advantage of you. And that's what I saw a lot when I was in, in high school. I went to an all black high school and there wasn't a lot of people that was crying in public or who looked visibly sad. It was a lot of people who were angry, who fought, who yelled, who, you know, had a lot of like attitude. But a lot of times it's because there's things in their life that is really hard and really difficult for them, but they're in an environment where they don't feel safe to express that type of vulnerability. And that rage will come out in me speeding on the highway. Um, it will come out in me slamming doors and slamming things when I didn't think anybody else was around. And it got me to that place where by the time that I needed, I know that I needed to get help was when I was on that highway and I was speeding on that highway from a shoot that went, went down that didn't work out. And I was just like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of being so sad, but it didn't come out necessarily in just tears. It came out in a, in a form of rage of feeling helpless and feeling like I, that I can't control what's happening on the inside of me. And then the last thing that I experienced was just such a little regard for myself. Um, I placed myself in really dangerous situations as a young journalist. And I think a lot of times when we talk about depression, um, we talk about the overt things, the sadness, but sadness can come out in a myriad of different ways. So I wanted to ask you this question. Um, what, what unconventional signs of depression that you experience um, across your journey? You know, were you like me? Were you dealing with anger or rage? Or were you in denial about it? Or were you just working so hard to make yourself feel better? You know, I wanna know about these things. Um, put it in the comments below. I would love to read them and reply to them as well. Good talk to you guys. Bye.